Good morning and welcome back to Coffee Break. So we have a very special guest today. Welcome, Floyd Cooper. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, this is one of our illustrators all the way from Pennsylvania. You mean I'm not the only illustrator? Sorry. Sorry, we have I, yeah. quite a few. As much uh, as we would love to have all of our books illustrated yeah, by story you. Story of my life. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. But you are definitely one of our favorites. Oh, yeah. well. Except for everything. <laughs> Today we're going to be asking Floyd Cooper all about his process. Wow. What makes him tick? Yeah. Oh boy. So uh, what does a typical day for you look like? Typically, I am uh, working hard on uh, trying to get a deadline, uh, you know, get a book finished for a deadline. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I tend to work that way. Um, uh, when I'm working on a book, I actually uh, work in a small space. It's a small studio, but I like it that way because mm -hmm. everything is sort of confined into this point, my, mm -hmm. my workspace. And I don't have many distractions. And uh, I don't know if it goes back to the days that I actually had to work in a very small space, <laughs> but it's something that I probably carried with me from, from my, my past, my beleaguered past. <laughs> yes. So what did your career path look like then? Uh, I started out as a three-year-old drawing on the side of our house. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Well, was that <laughs> not a permanent? Do you, no, it wasn't permanent. Oh, I was gonna say, do you still have that artwork? Because that's worth a good amount I, of money now. <laughs> well, the only thing I remember about it is the, the rubbing it off because uh, my, my folks were pretty upset. <laughs> and that's probably why I work the way that I do today mm -hmm. because of those days. But uh, I continued on, and um, I'm uh, from um, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, we lived mostly in low-income housing, and so art supplies were really low on the list of mm. things that you could get. And yeah, so those can be really expensive. They can be. Yeah. And so um, I had uh, to sort of scrounge and scramble for things until someone gave me my very first art supply. Mm. Uh, but I do <clears throat> know that there are about 13 elementary schools in Tulsa, and I attended about 11 of those 13 <laughs> oh, wow. elementary schools. So wow. we moved around quite a bit. Yeah. And I used my art as currency to buy a new friend whenever I went to a new uh, <laughs> school. I would go right to the art teacher because I knew she'd probably like my art. And so I started to count on that, rely on that as my, my way of buying a friend when I got to a, a new school. So That's great. I learned the value of art early on yeah. Yeah. as currency. <laughs> yeah. so. so you're actually in Grand Rapids talking to schools and libraries yes. about diversity and everything. So what Absolutely. do you hope people take away from your lectures? Well, um, diversity is a new subject for me. I'm usually talking about my art, per se, and uh, individual books or whatever, mm -hmm. and the process itself, which has sort of been my mainstay in the industry. I'm the only uh, artist who works the way that I do, that I know of, unless you guys know. Because you <laughs> no, do know lots know. of illustrators. No. So. Yeah. yeah. But um, diversity uh, this week has been really fantastic for me. It's given me a chance to grow and expand, and I get to share my two cents about that. Very important subject. What are your two cents about that important subject? Uh, my two cents happen to be part of what I uh, have been doing all along as an artist. From early on, I was always sort of pulled into this whole discussion. I met Augusta Baker, the famed librarian, uh, right after my first book was published, and she pulled me aside and told me that her main goal, her main devotion as an, a librarian was to put a book about a little uh, black child into the hands of a little white child, mm -hmm. and to put a book about a little white child into the hands of a little black child. Her words at the time didn't mean much to me until I started to figure it all out. I was still very green and young, uh, but it has been something that's been part of my career from the very beginning. Uh, right now, it's uh, very important that we all get a grasp on what it is that can build bridges between us and uh, how easy it is sometimes to overlook certain things about the planet that we live on, about the people we share it with. And I really do see children's books as a way to really build those bridges early on. And uh, when you pick up a book uh, that is different from your own culture, it opens up that whole area for you and it, it grows you mm -hmm. uh, in a sense and connects you with the, the greater world. That's what I hope for children is that they learn uh, about the, the world at large and then their place in it and how they connect with it. And they can do that with uh, diverse books. Need more books. Yeah, yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah. So, so you, you mentioned a couple times that your process is very unique. Could you yes. describe your? It's your a subtractive process. Uh, I work from a background of uh, oil paint, as you can see here. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a demonstration piece for someone who's paying for it, so I can't use it. 
<laughs> By the way, I'm working free today. <laughs> so this is what yes, you get. We're when paying you, him with tea. <laughs> this is what you get when you work free. There's pencil scrubbing, some of the piece of printer paper. Got what we paid for. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I don't know where, how I can hold this so you can see. I think oh, I'm still on hold camera. It? Are you sure? Yeah, you I got You don't mind being my Ethan Allen Hazel? Absolutely not. Okay. Happy to. Um, I'm going to do this left-handed, but this uh, is this my secret. Is this going out nationally, internationally? I'm giving away <laughs> my secrets here, but I use a stretchy erasers. These are, uh -huh. oh. I so remember it, those. Yeah. I had that. The stretchy that. kneaded eraser. Yeah. And what I do is, from a ground of paint, I just erase a shape. You see? Oh, yeah. And it makes a shape. Now, from a shape, you can actually, I better do this right. Okay. It, <laughs> um, from a shape, you can make all kinds of things. Uh, in fact, er, every single one of my books I made by using shapes. But what I have mm -hmm. here are just uh, four little basic shapes that can then be connected together to make someone that looks like my Uncle Billy. And um, that's usually how my uh, pictures start out, looking like my Uncle Billy, <laughs> but, uh, even the, the ladies, you know. But uh, what I'm doing is just trying to find my, my way through this here. And, and each little oh, shape wow. I make grows into something that uh, leads me to the narrative of the picture. And so if we take away the scraps and the cookie cutter approach, you can actually start to see how yeah. you can. This oh, is all sideways so cool. to me. Never draw sideways, boys and girls. <laughs> a, an art rule number 43, but I'm, I'm doing that here. I don't know if you can see this, how it, how it all works. It comes yeah. together with a bunch of shapes. If you see my books, it gives a better representation of the yeah. technique. I don't think I've done it much justice, Did much you justice here today. Oh, yes. Did you want to take a page in there? Here we go. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> counter to what you've just seen here, <laughs> previously, I did do this. <laughs> I know this didn't really prove anything when I did what I just did there, but uh, I was sitting down at my drawing table. I just erased the shapes here, right, just like mm -hmm. before. Wow. Erased the little shapes with the eraser, rubbed a little paint on, Waited a few days to make it look like I worked really long on it <laughs> and sent it back in. Yeah. And that's how cool. it works. So this has been in the Emancipation Proclamation. And yes, this was illustrated by Floyd Cooper. Um, you've actually done, what, 96 picture books? Uh, 107, but who's counting? Oh, wow. Over 100 <laughs> picture books. Yes. Um, so of those, is there any that has any particular meaning to you? Like any kind oh, of really special? special yeah. yeah. It's this one. Oh, it's good, urban. good, urban. yes. Of course. <laughs> Been an emancipation That's property. the answer we're looking for. <laughs> That's right. This book is special to me because it actually opened um, my world up to what Erdman's was about. And prior to that, I had uh, no inclination. Uh, I was usually working with some of the other publishers mm -hmm. more that you may have uh, recognized. But um, Erdman's, yeah. I had little knowledge about. And this gave me an opportunity to meet these wonderful, wonderful folks here at Erdman's. And I'm really glad that uh, I had the opportunity work with some fantastic people. These are fantastic people here, you know. They, <laughs> and uh, and it, was, it, it, it produces fantastic results. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite books to date. I'm really proud of the illustrations that I did for it. Yeah, they're lovely. I'm proud of the uh, book itself. Do you have a favorite uh, spread in here? Yes. Oh, I love this one. Yeah. He's holding the document over his heart. This mm -hmm. is actually about the third painting I did of this scene. I did maybe two others with different compositions. That didn't quite do it, but this is when I arrived at it, and that's why this is really uh, special to me. I arrived at the perfect solution, mm -hmm. visually, uh, compositionally, and uh, it, it all came came together. It's a very emotionally moving spread, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. About what the book was about, right? Right and in the, the feels. Emancipation Proclamation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right, right. Do you have any advice for people who are aspiring to be uh, artists or illustrators? Yes, uh, if you're going into publishing, reading is. Um, best thing that you can do and I would say that for writers as well mm -hmm. people think to be a good writer is naturally uh, something that you think uh, you would just need to write a lot but actually reading is reading a lot too I mean read everything you get your hands on and read more you know read way more than you write read more than you draw so reading is uh, crucial that's the foundation that will give you your footing and your power as an illustrator and uh, help to um, enhance your voice as an artist. Well, Floyd, thank you so much for joining us. It was so great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for bringing me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being Erdman's. Oh, well, <laughs> toss, toss. You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank. <laughs> thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you next week. All right. Hello, everyone.
everyone. Today, <laughs> I'm interviewing two lovely ladies. No. Oh, is that oh, weird? Getting, uh, getting interviewed all just, of a sudden. I'm just going to take over. Are you going to be able to get something out of that? I'm oh, gosh, yeah. yeah.